or should I wait like I normally do? And he can, yeah, he throws things with such strength. Like, literally, this guy is like Mike Tyson or something. He's very strong. He can pick up any animal and literally throw it like that. I'm going to cut this grass so he can get to the seed. Hello and good it's afternoon for me so good afternoon everyone I am Sheila Devine and today we are playing Shepherd's Crossing um, I made a few mistakes in my last recording in order to get the second um, ending you have to finish the diary you don't have to finish the whole book I'll show you in a minute so yeah my fault all you have to do in order to get the second ending is make sure that you get 70 or at least it's supposed to be 70 of the diary entries so these entries right here are the ones that you need to focus on and the guide gives you everything you need to get all of the diary entries now as stated before, I'm not sure how um, accurate that guide is because it's the PS2 version and there's no PSP guide as of right now. So we're kind of stuck using that guide. Okay, now last time we kind of did some intro work. We played with some of the pasture. It's not ready to get cut anymore. And now we're just waiting on our marmot to have babies. So, let's get started. Let's go to the next day. Oh, we got hay. You're the new guy, right? My sister told me someone new came, so I came to have a look. I'm Kai Reed, or K Reed. Claire's my sister. Oh. Of course, you're going to raise some goats, aren't you? People who move here usually want to make cheese. First, though, you'll need to learn how to care for the goats and milk them, too. I'm raising some goats and sheep myself. I sell my goat meat to the butcher. So you're the newcomer, eh? Yeah, I've seen you around. I'm Sophia Lotus. Have you met Helen or Marsha yet? We're sisters, you know? I'm the middle one. You plan on going hunting? I go all the time. Otherwise, my animals will get eaten up by predators. Of course, I only hunt wolves and foxes who prey on chickens during hunting season. If someone invites you on a hunt, you should go. Of course, you'll need at least one dog first. Even a terrier will do. I'll tell you more about it once you get a dog. Okay. We don't have a dog yet, so there's nothing we can do with the hunting. When we do hunting, we go to this building here. Oh, some grass. Come here. Let me move this. We go to this building right here called the dog house. And you register your partner. Hunt prep lets you go to any hunt that you've already won before. Prize exchange is you get points during the hunts. And if you win the hunts, you get these points to use to buy other supplies like hay, marmot meat, decoy flowers, seed jar, bucket, things like that. They can help you out on your farm or just be decorations. Okay, let's see. He's still doing his thing. Hey, you can trade this at the market for marmots. So if we want to speed things along, we can take, I think it's two of these, and get marmots. Let me see. I think I need two. Get farm sign, young marmot. Yep, need two. Okay. So we got to wait a little longer. Now, let's go to the next day. Ah, pregnant. 
Congratulations, your marmot's expecting. Be sure it gets enough food. It has to eat for baby too now. Okay, now we have started to breed. Oh, another uh, trick you can do if you're doing a completionist route and you're trying to get colors. Um, the mom's color is the thing that matters the most. So her color will make like her own color and the next color normally. Sometimes the colors jump, but for the most part, um, it'll lead to the same thing. I'm debating if I need to go save or not. Uh, pasture seed. Pasture seed. Pasture grass. My goodness. Pasture grass. And pasture grass. Okay. We want to get as much grass as possible. Now, because when winter comes, this grass will help us make seed for our marmots. So let's get all of this done. So you see, I'm kind of doing some inventory work because the whole point of this game is micromanaging. You are micromanaging everything. Oh, can't fit over there. Can we fit over here? There we go. Oops, I almost cut it. <laughs> you can cut the hay and that turns it into grass. Young pasture. You don't want to cut the young pasture, that will just turn it into grass. That should be enough grass, but I'm not sure. Um, if you want to get a dog, because she was talking about you need at least one dog to go hunting, she's right. Uh, you got to grow cabbage first, because they let you trade cabbage for a dog. Don't ask me why a dog has to be traded for cabbage, it makes no sense. All right, here we go. Yep, they need seed. Do we have any? There we go. I kind of like using what's already here for seed. Hi, guys. There you go. So I will sometimes just pick up my grass seed instead of letting it grow into grass and just use it. Because they give you so much of it to start, and it really helps at first. So, I'm going to set this to the side so I remember to put it on me when we go into the next day. Yes, yes. Is this a pastor yet? Yep, pastor. Now, if I want, I can um, take some of the grass and turn it into more pasture. Now... I'm not going to do that, namely because I don't want to overwhelm myself. <laughs> this game can, you can go there. You can take it too far too fast. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting stuck on grass. Let's see. That's the grass. Okay. Yeah, if you have everything on you, like if you have a lot in your inventory, as long as there's room, it'll still do the action and it'll cut it for you and just sit it to the side. So you don't have to run around um, carrying every single thing. Okay. All right, I think that's good for now. There we go. This grass is driving me crazy. Can I get it through the fence? Oh, I'm good. I got it through the fence. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next day. I'll pick up that grass in the next day. Because I got to come in here and get them seed. So I'm going to drop this. Pick this up. Throw that out. Do I have two haze yet? Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going to drop these for a minute. And we're going to go and pick up some marmots. Now you need a lot of marmots. Hi, young marmot. What? 
Another newcomer? Seems we've got a lot of you folk lately. I guess it's because we keep the village looking so nice. Well, I'm glad for the influx, personally. Who wants to live in a ghost town? My name's Samson, by the way. I'm the butcher. Animal meat and processed milk are my trade. You are, of course, planning on doing some farming while you're here, aren't you? Okay. Hmm. He wants us to do some extra stuff. After this grows a little more, you should be able to tell whether it's male or female. Yeah, they have four stages in this game. The baby stage. Oh, he's stuck. Uh, can you scoot over? Yeah, scoot over a little bit. Share some of that seed. There you go. This is a this pen is too small. I am going to have to make it bigger. Let's see. Can I? Do I have room yet? What I like to do is I like to take the fence and go from here to here. And that gives me all of this space right here to take care of them. Let's see? All right, they're eating. So your goal is to get a lot of marmots and marmot meat trays for berry seed and cabbage seed. So we want to get the cabbage seed and start planting it. And then we will be able to get rabbits. And once we have rabbits, we use the cabbage to make the rabbits grow fur. And once they grow fur, we will be able to uh, go to the next chapter. So we're gonna we're gonna play this like that. Let's pick up the seed because they'll sprout if I leave them. There we go. Oh, what you feed them sometimes matters too. And when you're trying to get color, like the the more rare the seed, the more um, likely you'll get a new color. Like um, if this was berry seed or cabbage seed, I would be more likely to get. A different color out of them but I'm not playing for color so let's go <laughs> okay they're ready to eat again let's throw them this I hope they all can reach that let's get this yep they all can reach it good okay and I got this now, hopefully I don't mess this up. If I mess up, that's okay. We'll just restart. Um, and when I say restart, what I mean is we will take the hay, get more marmots, and begin anew. Now, I can cut this grass now, but it'll just give me small cut grass. See? It'll just give you a small cut grass. So I like to wait until they're a little bigger, and then I will be able to get something out of them. All right. I'm debating if I want to get some more marmots or not. I might wait. Because you want to make sure your resources can keep up with what you're doing. Because they can die. And, um... Once they die, they, they disappear. I think there's an animation to... I don't know. I haven't had them die on me before. Let's see if I can avoid that and keep it off my record. <laughs> um, but yeah, this area here will be used for berries and all that. And I apologize if you hear little ones. My uh, son has his friend over and they are loud. They, they're being children. I'm going to save because it's a habit. <laughs> Usually I save every day because I do a completionist um, route, meaning I try to get everything in the book. Oh, she had a bit. Oh, it was another color. A marmot was born. It has to stay near its mother to nurse. Otherwise, it won't grow. A marmot was born. As you raise more, you'll notice they come in all different kinds of colors. <laughs> Changing the subject. This village is still small and needs to rely on other villages for many things. We mainly trade wool for vegetable seeds. Oh. 
I'd love to see you raise sheep, make cheese and wool, and raise donkeys to carry salt and iron for neighboring villages as well. Oh, the baby's another color. That is rare, trust me. <laughs> it does not normally happen without me fighting for it to happen. So, oh my goodness, we have the colors. Oh. Oh, right, I got seed on me. I can't pick up anything. Okay, let's pick this up. Come here. And here we go. Yeah, if it looks a little wonky, it can be a little wonky. Um, this still hasn't grown. Can I make... No, it's still in the way. Usually, I like to start my first um, fence right here. But I think that grass is in my way. Yep. I mean, I can maybe still do it. Let's see. Because they're going to need more space. Let's see. Can I? There we go. Let's move this out the way for a moment. Because if anything's in the way, that fence won't do it. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Like I said, it's a little wonky. You gotta be patient with this game. It, it has some kinks, guys. It has some kinks. Um, but I find as long as you're patient and willing to work with it. Uh oh, I got myself stuck. It's actually relatively fun. And a lot of people say it's actually quite addictive to play this game. Like, a lot of people who have gotten to play it. Let me say it that way, because this game is. As I told you guys, pretty rare. But there's some, a few reviews on even the DS version where they um, review it and talk about how addictive it is. They say it's harder though. So I don't play it. I'm not looking for hardship. <laughs> if I want a hard game, uh, I'll play subsistence or something. And trust me, that's, that's plenty hard. If anyone has played Subsistence, you know what I mean. It's hard. It is a hard game. Can I turn it? There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to move these guys. They're not going to appreciate it because I'm going to have to take their seed from them. Maybe I, can, maybe I can put a seed down. Appease them a little bit. Yeah, so this doesn't look like a lot of room now, but compared to what they were in lot of oops the baby hold on let me get the baby come here a lot of space in comparison so yeah as i was saying there are four stages to the animal life in this game there is the baby there is um oops i pushed the wrong button young version and then there is um the adult and then from there they have old that they die after that so every animal has a different like maturity level like for example marmots don't take so long to mature but if you get goats and stuff like that they can take a while to mature they can take a long while um, I'm not gonna use this stone I never do so I'm just gonna throw it away you can throw your resources away here this is a trash so if you are trying to clean up a little bit, that's your trash can. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any more time to share any more? Probably not. Let's see if we can get one more day in. And sometimes they won't finish. Oh, he became a male. Okay, that's fine. And sometimes they won't finish um, the seed. They'll eat on it for a while. Um, usually when I play, I try to get girls because they trade for the next thing. But in here, males are good too because you can get marmot meat for them. And I can use that meat to put down cabbage. I wonder if I can do that now, actually. I wonder if it's, like, not too late. I, w I wonder. Because... Normally, what I like to do is I spend the first year just on marmots. What do you guys think? Should I push it a little bit because I'm not doing a completionist run? 
and I should like you know um why did I do that I need to take some hay and get more marmots um So I, um, what I'm trying to say is, should I go ahead and use that marmot and start making cabbage seed now instead of later? Or should I wait like I normally do? And he can, yeah, he throws things with such strength. Like literally this guy is like Mike Tyson or something. He's very strong. He can pick up any animal and literally throw it like that. I'm gonna cut this grass so he can get to the seed. I don't like doing that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So let me know what you guys think, because I think we're at the end of my time. Yeah, pretty close. So let me know what you guys think. Should we stick to marmots for a little while longer and just um, get them kind of up and taken care of? Or should we take this mail? And go ahead and try cabbage and see what happens because you don't need a lot of males to do what you need to do they they don't have incest or how can I say it this game does not pay attention to um, like incest rules or strange things like that basically even though this could be his baby he can still breed it if it's a girl or boy weird but true so that that is the only thing I guess that can be disturbing about this game if you're disturbed by that but yeah um, so you don't need a whole bunch of males you don't need new blood to continue um, with anything so tell me what you guys think let me know um, in the comments if we should like go ahead go ahead and get that cabbage seed and see if you can grow some cabbage now because if I can I can get the terrier and we can start getting hunts and that will help us so much like you get so many resources from hunting so many it's not even a joke so okay I want to thank you for watching this is definitely my time up <laughs> thank you so much for watching please be easy on yourselves if you enjoyed the video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing, and also hitting that bell so that you can be informed when the video comes out, okay? Alright, have a good day, be easy on yourselves, and I appreciate you so much, really. Take care out there, bye! Mwah.